Hey everyone, the Flying Holucha here, and today we have an unboxing review of Ninja Scroll. We have the series and we have the movie, both steelbooks. We will be doing a steelbook, complete steelbook uh, collection in due time. I've got a few steelbooks, I think I've got about maybe five at the moment, but in due time when I get at least ten or whatever... I'll start doing, uh, you know, full-on video, just, you know, with my steelbooks. But as you can see, look, it's got the odd, you know, odd marks. This is a quite an old, this is, is quite an old uh, steelbook. It says Ultimate Collection, not Ultimate Edition. So, <laughs> can't catch this as an Ultimate Edition. It's got the old scratches, of course. The one I had before was even worse. It had like a dent there. Like a real big, like, coming out egg sort of shaped dent. But, uh, this has four discs. Uh, the very last one has a big sort of dig in it. But, uh, it, it's, it's a special features uh, disc. So I managed to play nearly everything on it. And, you know, just it's like a little trivia game. Uh, trailers to other, you know, anime or whatever. So there wasn't much on it for it to actually skip, but... but yeah, this is old. I saw one, like, brand new going for, like, £40. You know, that someone just bought and never, ever opened. You know, you got the old marks, yeah. Like I say, this is a really big, heavy, flipping steelbook. The back, yeah, of course, you're going to get the marks, but like I said, really old, really old still book. So, I've seen worse, I've seen worse out there, but yeah, I'm happy enough. And then we have the movie. The movie. Oh my god, CEX are a pain in the ass when it comes to this. Uh, don't get this from CEX. It costs £6, which is a fantastic price for this, but the first time I ordered from CEX, it arrived like this. See? This bad boy don't exist. Didn't exist. So I'd open it up. Uh, it would just come like that. Yeah? Look, does that tell me any information? No. doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, it doesn't tell me anything. Not the age rating, it doesn't tell me information. Only, you know, the cardboard does that. But yeah, and then when I'd open it up... Throw that away, because uh, apparently CX, it doesn't exist. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Bye-bye. That is literally when I ordered this from CX. That and that. That's all I got. Booklet missing. The cardboard uh, cover missing. I mean, that is so frustrating. And then I sent it back and got a refund like two weeks later, which is really annoying. And then uh, what I did is when I got my refund, I ordered it again. But the thing that sucked is I got the exact same one that I had ordered last time. They had just sent it back to me. This is a thing I've learned about CX. When you buy from them, when you send it back, buy another one before you send the other one back. No, actually, send the other one back and buy one at the same time. That way you know you're getting a, you know, a new one to the one you're sending back, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, I knew it was the same one because I put, like, a little bit of tape there, you know, just to, you know, tell me. And, of course, it was. Then, uh, when a new one came, of course, this cardboard thing here. Where is it? here missing and open it up and the booklet was there the booklet was there so i'd open it up like that and that would literally straight up be it that would be it no cardboard cover sent that one back and got i bought it one more time and then the next one i bought looked exactly like that again and no cardboard cover so, yeah, I bought it three times, and I sent it back three times and got a refund three times. <laughs> but, uh, how did I get this? I had to pay £18. I paid £15, like, £3 postage. Really annoying, but 
it's a good movie, I've been told. To get this with it and the booklet, you know, it's pretty good. But the guy was selling it for £7.50, but the bid went up to £15, so someone just doubled it. So I won it for f uh, £15, but with £3 postage, so... HMV was selling his brand new and sealed for £10, but out of stock, so nothing I could do about that, but, yeah, let's start, let's start unboxing these, shall we? Start unboxing these two. Okay, side by side, it looks like this, that looks really sick, but, uh, yeah, basically, you got a little... You know, corner there has been bumped, but whatever. Uh, yeah, basically, you can get these so many different ways. I think there's a paper version. There might be a hardback version of this series. I know we had it, like, released a bunch of times. I don't know if it ever came out on Blu-ray. You know, Americans probably have it on Blu-ray, but haven't seen Ninja School, the series, on Blu-ray yet. If they can dub the movie, I'm pretty sure... I'm not dub the movie, uh, put the movie in Blu-ray, I'm pretty sure they can put that on Blu-ray. But, uh, yeah, opening it up, that's what you get. First of all, we're going to take this out. Hold on. See? So it looks like there. We're going to open it up. That's what that looks like. You can open that up. That's what that looks like. Yeah. You know? Really cool. And then we're going to, see, this one, uh, the disc is pretty bad condition, but it works, so it's good enough. We're going to, uh, see, really cool. Sucks, because the American version is better, because when you open it up, it has an extra little side cover here, which basically has... What does it have? It has a booklet with it. So, see? It's not missing anything. Nothing's been cut off. But there one has a booklet. An extra little, you know, thing there. Which sucks. Because the Americans always get better stuff than we do. It's the fact. But, uh... Yeah, this one says... Dragonstone. Dangerous Path. Deliverance, and that one doesn't have anything because that's just special features. It doesn't even say special features, but... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy to have this. Um, uh, I had it before. I think I bought it for, like, £15, but like I said, the front cover was really bad condition. You can look at the front cover of this. It isn't fantastic, but there's no massive scratches or digs or bumps or whatever. You've got odd, odd little things, but... It's a big steel book. What do you expect? You're going to have the odd, you know... You're going to have the odd marks on it. Sure. It's not going to be immaculate. Forget that. But, uh... I think I've... Yeah. In case I didn't show it. There you go. Let me get this one. People have compared this to, like, Dragon Ball because you've got so many characters in this. I think it only has 13 episodes as well. Should have made more. 20 would have been nice, but, you know, anything more than 20 would have been even better. But, yeah. Happy enough with it. Really nice. Put that back in here. And close that up like that. Let's look at this. You got the Blu-ray, the DVD. Both really good condition. Uh the ordinal remember when I bought Sword Art Online, the movie Ordinal Scale? Well, I bought it from the same seller. This they sold me this. And they also sold me a... Uh, you know, the ordinal scale, so yeah. This here, and the ordinal scale, sold up, same seller, sold it to me. Which is why you can tell this is in really good condition. Just like my ordinal scale was. But, uh, yeah. Real mini booklet here. Quite nice, because it has some information in it. 
That looks like a clip from the actual movie. Hold on. If I look at the back. Yes, you knew I've seen it somewhere. Yeah, a little thing. Don't worry, I can show that because it's uh, censored. <laughs> See? Yeah, really nice. No, I'm not going to spoil too much of the booklet. You can uh, r you know, read it for yourself or have a look for yourself if you decide to buy this. But I paid a pretty penny. You know, if CX had actually got this shit together, well, it's not their fault. It's the people that donate it, isn't it? Or sell it to them. No one donates to CX. Contains strong bloody violence. It's an 18 as well. Ooh, scary. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, really nice. And, yes, yeah, so click that back in. Really love the artwork. It's so good. So far, out of all the artwork I've seen, uh, my gang Katsuo is really good, but I really want to get a Samurai Shampoo. I want to get the Samurai, it's like £28 something, but it's Blu-ray and it's still book. And oh my god, the artwork's beautiful, but I'll be getting that in due time, you know. Because uh, I damaged my e-scooter. Well, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I've been told it might cost me over like 100 quid to repair. So they come collect it, after, you know. I'm not going to buy anything else until... They come collect it and tell me an estimate value as to how much it'll cost me. Nothing serious damage, but hopefully they can fix it. But yeah, it's going to cost me a lot. So few anime reviews until then. <laughs> but uh, yeah. There it is. Hope you enjoyed this review. It isn't excellent that, but... You know, I can eventually sell this in future and buy another one, but yeah, come on. It's old, it's aged. You can forgive the odd scratches there. There's no big gash or big bump, you know. So you can still read what it says, Ultimate Collection. Yeah, that is still OP, it's, you know, out of print. Yeah, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this. Short little, what well, short little reviews, you know, 10 minutes long. Hope you enjoyed this review nonetheless of Ninja Scroll, the series and the movie on Steelbook, Flying Halucha. I'm out.